اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ما الذي أولياء الله عينون بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما يا سيد الصلاة ويا سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عاد الحقان ما يا سيد الشيخ محمد عاد رباني جاء الله عينون بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد Get rid of the effects. Who lahu illahu madadi awliya Allah. Another day in this dunya that is not worth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a wing of a mosquito. This whole entire world. Yet we weak ones, our nafs, our shaitan, our hawa, keep us busy with that which has no value to Allah. And that which has value to Allah, we neglect. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting us in the middle of spiritual deserts, small oasis here and there by the barakah of Awliya Allah where heavenly gems are given these places the reality of dhikrullah the reality of salah ala nabi if people really uh, if Allah takes the veil off for them to see the value of praising Allah, fulfilling our purpose, the value of sitting in a gathering and actually making salah ala nabi or praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There would be, people would be fighting to enter. There would be lines, maybe miles and miles of lines of people trying to get in. That's because we human beings are smart, Allah gave us a mind, so if they know something is valuable, if let's say now we say we have emeralds and we have uh, uh, gems, and we're, we're just throwing them, and anyone can come and take what they like. We have gold uh, nuggets and just free, come. Uh, you can, uh, how long people will be outside? People will be fighting. You, know? you tell them, forget the golden gems, tell them dollar. You tell them, come and there's this house full of money, come and take what you like. No asking. How many people will be lined up outside? Okay. But this is, uh, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is a decree أقام العبادة فيما أراد وله المراد فيما يريد. He established people in that which he likes, how he likes, where he likes, and his will will be. So they say, if you want to know your situation in Akhira, look at your situation here. Look in what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala أقامك فيما أقامك في. Look at what He established you in. He established you in a place where he's allowing you to worship him. He's allowing you to know him, to praise him. He's putting you with people who are doing that. He's giving you the opportunity. He's giving you the time. He's giving you the ability. He's giving you the tawfiq to praise him. If that is happening, then you should be happy. Because it is a sign of what's coming, inshallah. So, subhanAllah, and this month of Rabi'ul Awal has been such a blessing by the grace and barakah of our teachers and their support. Alhamdulillah, they kept us busy with Rawli al Nabi. From the beginning, we are having many mawlids. Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, we are having Milad. And Alhamdulillah, 
people are coming to feast on the blessings of Salah and Nabi. Prophet one time, Shaykh, I think Abdurrahman ibn Awf was with Prophet and he Prophet went into Sajda and he didn't get up for a long time until Sayyidina Abu Rahman Nauf was thinking that Prophet maybe he passed away. That's how long. So he went close to him and he would brought his head close to to his to his head to see if he's breathing or and Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, said, looked at him and said, What is it, Abdul Rahman? And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidina Muhammad he said, I thought, I thought maybe something is wrong. He said, no, when I walked in, Jibreel met me and he said, not one person from your ummah will make salawat on you, except Allah will make 10 on them. And Prophet sallallahu went into sajda shukr. He went into sajda to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thanking Allah for what? Thanking Allah for us. Because Nabi is the one who knows Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He knows his Lord. He knows Allah's generosity. He knows Allah's grants and Ata. He knows Allah's magnificence. We don't know. He has been he's Habibullah. Allah. He was Prophet before Adam was created. So if anyone knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is our beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is sahib al-maqar al-mahmud, wal-izz al He is the owner of the highest station. No malak, no angel, no, no uh, jinn, no human being, no anything can come close to the station of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu in his Lord's presence. That station which, for which Iblis became jealous because he thought it was for him. No one can come close to that maqam of Prophet Sallallahu And so he's not in need. He's not in need for Yani, if inna Allah astaghfirullah, inna Allah, verily Allah, wa malaikat, and his angels continuously, yusallun, mudari'a, fa'al mudari'a is, is, yusallun is continuously sending salawat upon the beloved. He's making such that shukr to thank Allah to give him 10 more. Allah is continuously making salawat on him. Okay. See? So why is he thanking Allah? That Allah is going to give us 10 for each one. Because he knows the value. He knows the value of Allah salawat on his abhi. He knows what Allah is granting with those salawats. And he's thanking him for that favor. Because Allah wants his beloved to be happy. And he knows he will not be happy if his ummah is in trouble. So Allah sending Jibreel, waiting for him. As soon as he enters the masjid, he says, Oh, Prophet, do you know what Allah is giving you? He is giving you for any one of your ummah to make one salawat, ten. Allahu Akbar. And uh, subhanAllah, yani we have to be show gratitude. We have to be grateful Allah granted us to be followers of this Nabi. Followers of this Habib. I just recited from Qasida Salawatun Tayyibatun from um, a lover of Prophet Sayyidina Salih al Jafari, Shaykh Salih al Jafari. He was a huge Shaykh and Wali uh, and Shaykh al Azhar. And uh, he has many qasaid, sweet as this one. But when you read the qasida, you smell and taste the ishq. 
literally, if you if you if you reflect upon the word, he said some awesome. He said the, the fragrance of musk filled, like erupted. Oh. It excited the heart, so the heart couldn't contain anymore. He he uttered the heart couldn't contain that ishq, that of that presence of that fragrance. And then the eyes started to, to cry. From love to Muhammad. From the love of Muhammad. So Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting us another day to come together to say La ilaha illallah. To make salawat upon our beloved Prophet, Ya Rabbi. Allahumma la tahrimna fadla hadhi layla. Allahumma la tahrimna fadla. لا تحلنا فضل الذكر والصلاة على النبي إلى آخر أيام يا رب don't deprive us of praising our Lord or making salawat upon our beloved Habib صلى الله عليه وسلم until our last breath grant us to be like Sheikh Saleh Al-Jafari or Shaq lovers, real lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad he said in another uh, Akram al Rusli, Allah Allah. Ayy Allah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fil awwaleen, wa salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fil akhireen, wa salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fil mala'i al-a'la ila yawmiddin. Ma sha Allah la quwwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. اللهم اغفر لنا يا الله تبنا ورجعنا إليك لا من جنك إلا إليك اللهم صل على منه شقة الأسرار وفلقة الأنوار وفيه شقة الحقائق وتنزلت علم آدم فأعجز القلائق We have to be ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to fill our hearts with love and محبة for Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and we have to plead with our Lord because Prophet ﷺ said, المرؤ أنت مع من أحببت أو المرؤ مع من أحب For us, we are weak ones. We cannot do deeds of goodness. Our hope, our only hope is to be lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that beauty of Allah's tawfiq, hurmati al-habib, hurmati al-fatiha.